Hello, Teddy here, and at this point, I might as well start calling myself the Messiah because I am raising this community back from the dead. Just kidding, that last video bombed. Oh, I'm just gonna cut in here. By the way, did, did anybody catch this thumbnail reference? Just gonna throw that in here real quick. But this video should hopefully be better because we're gonna try something new. Uh, I decided to try a new challenge idea. It's completely original, so let me walk you through it so that you can comprehend such a vast and all-encompassing video idea. Okay, here's the premise. Basically, just copy underrated 54's 1 to 1 million flipping series. Kinda. This is the first episode of the new Road to Gonda series. If you haven't noticed, I have secretly behind the scenes changed the last one to season one. This is season two, but the difference is that there's no mining of nitro. I'm tired of that shit, man. Bro, are you kidding me? Man, you don't know, fuck this shit, dude. Fucking d Oh shit, no wait. I'm going to be making all the flux purely off of flipping, and I'm going to document it all. Essentially, I'm going to have to make 2 million percent gain on my 1,000 starting flux. Starting flux, that was not a word. The twist though, on this one, I'm going to instead buy 2,000 Trove of Wonders once I hit the 20 mil mark, instead of just buying the Gonda. On top of that, it will be on a mini account, so my main is completely separated, and also, by the way, this video is going to be a bit boring, just saying, because we're basically doing the same fucking thing over and over. Like, there's not much variety for humor. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry about that, but the purpose of this was essentially to show you how to make flux or how to start flipping as a beginner. So, anyways, here's the rules. We only start with 1,000 flux, as I said before. I cannot use any resources or flux gathered from anything other than the marketplace. Three. I cannot leave this vault world that I created on this mini account other than to grind dailies so that I can un unlock more slots for the marketplace because I'm not paying for that. When I leave to do the dailies and when I come back, I will separate out the flux that I have in my inventory from trading and the flux gathered from doing the dailies by using the club chests in the vault world and all the flux gathered from the dailies will be trashed because I don't need that shit. So starting out, basically, I did the tutorial, realized you have to get the level 20 mastery to be able to use the marketplace. So uh, I just started grinding dungeons. I found out, by the way, you can just trial the classes, and you're allowed to get the level 4 on them. But, you still get the mastery from those levels. So if you want to do this, top tip. Anyways, I got to level 20, created the vault world, threw away all of my shit that I had gathered, uh, and threw away all my flux until my flux pocket was at 1000. So, now we're ready to begin. Day one. The first trade I made was a Starglint Pinata. Oh my god, my left ear just went completely deaf. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. What the fuck just happened? What the fuck? Did I just get hit? Am I a targeted individual? I just got hit by a fucking... I just got hit by a beam from outer space. What the fuck? Basically, the Starglint Pinata is the cheapest mount on the market, so people don't really care how much they sell it for. Like, nobody likes this mount. I bought two of them for 100 each and listed them for 500 each. I sold one super quick, so I'm already in the green. Let's go. And then, I decided to buy some primal green blocks that are only being sold for one flux each. After that, I got some bottles for 69 each, listed them for 75 each, which, now that I think about it, that's legit 24 flux profit. I don't even know why I went for this flip. Either way, I did, and it sold really quick, so I guess it's okay. After that, I bought a thousand primal blue blocks for 200 flux, so 0.2 each, and then I listed them for 0.5 each, so 500 flux. The primal green blocks sold really quick, but the Primal Blue did not. Uh, it's going to be a trend for the next couple days that you will see these Primal Blue blocks in my inventory, and I eventually I just literally just threw them away. They just don't move. I'm pretty sure it's because, you know, people are mining nitro all the time, and you get Primal Blue blocks from the blocks around the nitro, so it's, it's either everyone has a ton of them uh, already, and they're just not buying them, or the market is just being flooded constantly. But it's more likely it's just a combination of the, the two of those. The same thing's probably going to happen with Primal Red, by the, way, by the way, so I wouldn't flip Primal Red. The reason being is Geode Surface gives you Primal Red blocks, but the Geode Caves give you Primal Blue blocks. Either way, let's move on. I got two Pinata mounts for legit one flux each. Like I'm telling you, people hate these things. Anyways, I sold a Pinata. I got another Pinata for 10 flux each. Like, I'm basically just getting given this challenge. Uh, yeah, but this this piece of shit basically gave me 
uh, my jump start on this challenge. I sold another Panada, and the last thing I did was list another Panada before I got off. So, day two. This morning, I got onto both the Panada sold, and since the Panadas went so well yesterday, I decided to buy more of them. And that's a trend that you're going to see with a lot of items I do in this challenge. Basically, I'm just selling the item for the same price I was able to sell it for before. I... Uh, and that's like what I'll base most of my flips off of. So anyways, I bought six of them for 166 each. Did another small, I did a, a small Cinnabar flip, which they sold really quick. But like, again, literally that was 75 flux profit. So it wasn't really worth it. I don't know. I hadn't realized that yet, I guess. I did my first daily, which by the way, I chose a perfect time to do this because it was the double star bonus week. And also later on in the challenge, I got like when you first start, when you do the tutorial, you get a free uh, patron. So I was able to get that free patron uh, and that managed to double my star bonus. Basically, I was able to get market slots really quick. So I chose a perfect time to do this. Uh, I grinded out the star ball, threw away all the shit and checked my mark. Another Panada sold and another market slot, by the way. Uh, I bought more Cinnabar, uh, but I think my brain glitched because for some reason I bought 10 Cinnabar for 50 each which is literally the price that I'm selling them for. After searching a bit, I found some Kambiris for 1,000 each, so I bought those and listed them for 3,500 each. After AFKing for a little while, I came back, the Kambiris had sold, the Cinnabar sold, and one of the Panadas sold. After relisting all those items, I decided to try the Ally market. The first Ally I tried was the Petite Auto Patroller that was listed at a discount. Uh, I listed it for 5,000 flux, and then I decided to try another ally, the Sunspot Sprinter, for 2500 At this point, I had realized that the blocks just weren't going to sell, so I just removed them from my inventory because they were just annoying me, really. I got back on later. I found that both of the mounts I listed had sold, but none of the allies did. I listed more Panadas, and as I was listing them, uh, an ally sold, so that's kind of nice. A guy undercut my fucking auto patroller at 4500 so I basically just undercut him back. Uh, because I'm a petty little bitch. I bought a blue raptor ally for 2900 and then sold it at 7000 I got a smoky raptor for fucking 900 flux and I sold it, uh, I, I, I don't, it doesn't say how much I sold it for, so I sold it for this much. I replaced that slot with the smoky str- oh, 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 it was the next line. Yeah, I replaced a slot with the Smoky Strider for thir for 4,000, okay? The Blue Raptor sold in like five minutes and another one was listed for 2,900. I didn't buy it because I figured that whoever was listing them had a ton of them and I didn't have the flux to buy them all right now, so I just left it. I got another Smoky Strider for 900 flux, which is a bit contradictory towards what I just said, but you know, whatever. I was willing to go for, I was willing to risk like 900 flux more than 2,900, I guess. I got a Rusty Raptor for 750, which I replaced one of my Smoky Striders for. And after another break, I came back to both the Pinata and the Rusty Raptor sold. I relisted the Panada for 5,000 or... I, I did 5,000. I listed the Panada for 5,000? What? That can't be right. Anyways, I bought a Gunslinger Cubesley for 2266. I bought a, a Gunslinger Cubesley for 6250, okay? And then I listed it for one flux less than it was on the market, which I'm pretty sure was like... 15,000 or something? I don't remember correctly. Anyways, the next thing I did was check the flask market, which I found a vampiric vial for 7,000 each, which was a massive discount. Finally, realized that the... P oh! Oh, I, I... Oh, I guess the panada was actually listed for 5,000. Okay. Anyways, I listed the vampiric vial for 30 grand, and finally... The last few things I did today was I bought a vial of Unleash Power for 21,000 and listed it for 35,000. Also, the Auto Patroller uh, sold and I replaced it with an Evil Eye emblem I got for 10,000 flux and listed it for one flux less than the highest one. So essentially, all I did this day was explore different markets and tested out different things or different items to see how fast they sold. Day three. The first thing I did was grind my dailies and throw away the shit. You know the story. I sold everything I had in my market overnight, so that puts me at 83,000 liquid flux right now which means I went from 49 or 4,309 flux to 83,000 flux from yesterday to today. So that's pretty nice. I did a little bomb purchase and then I found a perky penguin for 38,000 or 3,800. What the hell? Not 38,000. I listed it for 9,000 and I got some nitro for 160 each and listed them at 180 each. After a short breaks, the bombs and the nitro had sold. I still had the blue blocks at this point. I don't know why I was even trying. Anyways, I, I, I saw three perky penguins put up for around 3,000. So I basically just bought them all up. Like I bought the price up. I didn't list all three of those yet. I only kept it at one in my market at once because I didn't want to flood the market. I found some deals on some allies. So there was a bubble be Bobcat and then a Natty Noah for 150 each. Uh, I listed the Natty Noahs for 5,000 and then the Bubby Bobcats 
for 2,000. The next thing I got was two of those rockets from the Trove of Wonders. Uh, they were both 400 each and I listed them for 34, uh, 3,500. And I also just bought the rocket at 3,000 so that mine were the next or the, the cheapest option. And for the next few clips, I just sold off those items and relisted them. So it wasn't really anything important. The next real purchase I made was two Valoris vials for 7.5k each. I listed them individually for 25k each. The reason I wasn't putting down two at a time was because I didn't want people to think that I had a ton of stock to sell. Like if I was to put two down at 25k each, they would know for a fact that it was one person selling both of those and that they probably had a lot of the vials waiting to be sold. So people don't want to buy it if they're flipping it. So I basically just gave people the illusion that I was just giving them a one-off good deal. The next purchase I made was seven more Natty Noahs for 2k each, and I also decided to buy up this stack of 23 ticking timekeeper allies for 178 each, because it looks like the majority of the market was open, so I could pretty much set the price where I wanted. I chose to sell them at 5,000 each, and I also sold the last three of those rockets, uh, and then I, I tried again in vain to sell those blocks. Later that day, I came back to everything sold, so I relisted everything at the same price, the Valoris Vials sold shortly after, and I had to replace its slot, so I found a Polter Penguin for a discount of 5,000, and I put it up for uh, 12,000. Some people had undercut my ticking timekeepers, but I chose to simply just wait it out because I had watched this market over the past two days, and most of the time, there were only a few to no ticking timekeepers that were being sold individually. It was only those stacks of, like, I think it was 100, and then there was one for the one that I bought, which was 23. So I knew that pretty much this market was open. There's not very many uh, stock for this option, so I could pretty much set the price wherever I wanted to. So I decided to set it at 5K, which I saw as a reasonable price. The last thing I did today was sell and relist two of the Perky Penguins and the Natty Noahs. So as you can see, the items were selling at the prices I made, so I was pretty much confident in my ability to be able to sell them at that price. So I just kept them there, no matter the fluctuations of the market. Day four. Sold everything in my market overnight, so we're starting at a liquid flux of 168,570 fucks today. I said fucks. <laughs> Combining my assets uh, into that, I had actually about 300k, so for three days, 300,000 is not bad. I found some good deals on some allies, I filled my market, uh, and then basically I just got off the account and waited for things to sell. I came back to all of the listings I made sold except for the perky penguins, or Polter Penguins, my bad. And I simply relisted the leftovers and then looked for more deals to fill my market. Some dude bought up Starglint Panadas to 2,000 flux each, which I really don't, I don't know why you would do that. I found a deal on Vials of Multiplication, so I bought that. And after a while, someone put up another one for the same exact price. So I assumed that this was the same person putting them up and they're probably having a lot of stock to sell. That's a great opportunity for me if he's gonna give me a good deal. I'd like this series to be a lesson in patience for you guys. If you know for a fact that your items are listed at a fair price, then you don't have to worry about someone undercutting you because it's simply a matter of time. That's an important lesson for you to learn if you're going to get into flipping. You have to think long term. Look at how much liquid flux you have and how much the total price of the item you're buying is. Is the time investment worth it? Are you buying this item going to hold you up later, aka how much of your total liquid flux are you putting into this trade? Is that liquid flux that you no longer have immediate access to going to hold you up later? while you wait for these items to sell. These questions will allow you to succeed long-term in trading. The next thing I did on my mini was I bought up Valor's Biles vials and conjurer vials because i saw multiple of them being sold at 9k i listed the valores vials at 25k each so i was giving people a perceived deal on this item and the conjurer's vials at 25k each also just gradually selling off the pets while i was at it it turns out that the guy who was selling me the vials of multiplication did have stock because he put up another one for 13k i think what's happening here is these whales uh, accounts that have a, just a ton of flux are just opening Trove of Wonders for fun, and then they convert the fragments of wonder uh, into vials to sell so that they can buy more Trove of Wonders. Or maybe they're just buying fragments of wonder off the market, and then they're just turning them into vials and selling them for, for, for uh, profit. That's a video idea. Don't fucking steal my video idea. Anyways, I bought that. 
And as well as I bought up the Conjurer's Vials uh, that someone else put up more at 9k each again. It seems if you're going, if you're planning on doing the same thing I am here, like flipping vials, Conjurer Vials may not be a good one to try. And the reason being is I'm pretty sure they're the cheapest one to buy with Fragments of Wonder. Uh, so a lot of people just make these. I'm too lazy right now to confirm if they actually are the cheapest one, but I'm pretty sure they are. Basically, I bought all the ones I saw at 9k. When the guy who was selling them saw that I was buying them, I'm pretty sure he tried to pull a fast one on me. And he started listing them at 14k instead. So... Yeah, I'm not going for that shit. At this point, I just decided to wait and wait for the market to just naturally buy him out of stock because I didn't have enough liquid flux to keep this up. So I, I just got off at this point. I just got off the game. After a short break, I came back to the vial of multiplication sold. So I relisted it at the same price, as well as I noticed that the Conjurer's vial market was currently fucked. And this is what I meant when I say I'm pretty sure they're the cheapest one because it seems a lot of people list these ones for super cheap. Another vial of multiplication sold. These things were definitely the fastest moving at the time because another one sold like right after that one. So basically green check mark for this item. I got another perky penguin for 3k. I got two evasive vials for 9k each, as well as I bought two valorous vials for 8.5k each. And some dude kept drip feeding these evasive vials in sets of two for 9k each. I started to realize that it seemed people were just putting a ton of vials on the market for really cheap. So I decided to basically just stop buying them for now and just wait a few days to see what happened. And this is what I mean when I say I want this uh, video to be a lesson in patience or this series in general. If you find yourself in a situation like this, don't freak out, just give it time. If you made smart purchases, nine out of 10 times, it will work out at the end of the day. Any market is a self-correcting mechanism and over time, these things are going to solve themselves. So if you did buy at a low price, it's most likely going to go back up. During this day, I decided to just stop buying and simply let the market correct itself. But I did sell another Valoris vial before I went to bed. Day five. It seems I decided to take all my flasks off the market altogether before I went to sleep. I didn't record it. And the only one that went up really was the evasive vials, which went up to their normal price of 40K. So I started listing those at 30K each. I also did get another Perky Penguin for 3,300. And I also started buying some stacks of rainbow wings for cheap and listing them at 5K. The next item I decided to try was a Fey Drakeling. Um, I saw a single Drake being sold for 6K and then there was another stack of eight for 5K. So what I was gonna do was buy the single try to sell it and if it sold fast then i would buy the other ones and it did sell fast it sold in like 20 minutes so i bought the other stack and started listing them i got off for a little bit gave these items some time to sell and i came back to almost everything sold including the evasive vials i got another conjurer's vial for 6k and another one for 8k so that 8k what the fuck did I just say? I bought the Conjurer Vials up so that mine was the first listing on the market, but that didn't last long because more were being listed at 8k, so basically never mind. Took a break, came back, and the only thing that was selling was the Valoris Vials. Essentially, I just stopped playing for a little while because uh, clearly the items that I had in my market just weren't moving right now. So I came back after a few hours and my entire market had sold. What that means was that all the predictions I made were correct and that the vials, especially the Conjurer's vials, because those were the most, pretty much the, uh, all the other uh, vials I had, I was selling at a massive discount. So it doesn't surprise me that they sold, but the Conjurer's vial, I wasn't really selling it at a discount. So the fact that it did sell, it basically, you know, was a reassurance that I made the correct decision. I just relisted everything. I bought a Bountiful Emblem to list overnight so that I could fill my market, and then I just went to bed. And what you're going to start noticing is that from now on, for the next two days, the daily recaps are going to start being really quick because, like, more expensive items just don't move as quickly as the smaller items. Day six, overnight, I sold all the vials I had listed, but the Fey Drakelings didn't sell, and the reason was probably because I put two of them up at once at the same price, so people just undercut me because they assumed I had a lot of stock, and I was just gonna put more up. The good thing, though, was that I pretty much confirmed that the Conjurer's vials would sell at the price that I wanted, it just took ages because they're so common. And because they did take so long to move, I didn't buy any more of them, but the confirmation was nice. I decided to try another ally, the Patrolman Cubesly, because I saw a stack of 25 for 500 each. So I started listing them at 5k each, and I bought two more evasive emblems for uh, 15k each. I made a bet, by the way, that this gay dude... 
I literally wrote gay dude in my script. Like, I'm not even kidding. What the fuck? Anyways, yeah, I, I, ha I made a prediction that this dude was gonna put more vials up. Uh, because the previous days I had seen that there was someone putting up conjuration vials in sets of two So basically two conjuration vials for 14k There were also valorous vials put up for 15k in sets of two So now they were doing the fucking evasive aisles vials in sets of two so I pretty much bet that uh, once I bought them, he'd put more up in another set of two. And apparently, I didn't care enough to get the confirmation on front, uh, camera, because I just straight up, I didn't record it. I also didn't record myself buying this evasive eye. I swear, I, I accidentally deleted these clips. Yeah, the evasive emblems sold, as well as some of the small ally flips I did. The next really big purchase I made was 10 damage reflection emblems for 9k each. These emblems sell individually at 40k, so that was a crazy good deal. I swear, there has to be like some ultra rich guy who just had a ton of fucking stock, and he's just tired of selling the shit, so he's just cashing out. And he's just listing everything at 9k each. I guess, I mean, it helped me, so thanks. I started listing them at 30k, so essentially that was giving people a perceived deal of uh, 10k flux. And I also bought the Evil Eye uh, stack of 18 for 9k each, which I listed at the same price I sold before at, which was 70k. Or 17k, not 70k, what the hell. I also bought a stack of 7 Vanguard vials for 12k each, and also listed them for 30k each. So, the next one in the market was 50k, so again, giving people a perceived deal so that it would sell really quick. It's, it's not even really a perceived deal, it just is a fucking deal. I don't know why I'm saying perceived. But yeah, the rest of the day was pretty much just giving these items time to sell and relisting them. So, yeah. Day 7. These recaps are getting pretty short, huh? Well... This one is actually way shorter. Today, I decided to try something different. Since I had a decent amount of liquid flux, I decided to try to buy a bunch of bulk items or a bunch of bulk different allies because I had had success with them before. The first item I bought was auto patrollers because they sold really well but last time. So I bought 1,300 or I, not, I didn't buy a thousand of them. <laughs> I bought a stack of them for 1,333 flux each. And then I got 23 blue raptors for 15 kit or 50, 1,500 each. And I bought all three of these uh, dusky raptors uh, that were listed for that much. And to fill the last market slot I had, I bought five funny fezzy cats for 1,500 each. I listed most of these allies at 5,000 each, except for the patrollers, because I had sold them before at 14 or 4,499, so I just listed them at the same price I had sold them before for. Most of the things that were selling today were the emblems and the flasks, and that makes sense because I was giving people a crazy deal, like 10k, 20k discount on those items, so it makes sense why they sold really quick. The other things that I did sell, they pretty much uh, weren't moving very quick, so that sucks, but pretty much it's just passive income, really. The only other thing I did today was reinvest back into damage reflection emblems and evil eyes, so that's kind of cool. Something else, I do own the evil eye market now. I'm the only one who's listing them. Like, my listing is the only one as of recording this, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, the rest of the day was just waiting and selling off the things that I had, because things are just taking ages to move right now. That's all for this video. Uh, at the end of it, if I do the math of how much I have in all of my assets combined with the liquid flux that I have, I ended these seven days of flipping with 2,338,443 flux, if all of my items do sell at the prices that I am listing them at currently. So, I'd say it's a pretty safe bet to say that I have made it to at least 1 million flux by the time, uh, by, by, by the end of these seven days, basically. For the time it takes me to edit this video, which is probably going to be a week or two, I don't know how long it will take me. I'm not going to buy anything else until I finish editing this video and the video is released. So, basically, I'm just going to wait for all this shit to sell and just see how much liquid flux I have by that time and how many items sold or whatever. Uh, that will give, like, an idea of how long it takes to sell these things. But yeah, we'll move on from there with episode two of this series. So... Yeah, episode two is probably going to take a lot longer to make. Like, I'm not probably just going to be recording for like seven days. It may take like a week or two just because higher priced items, they just take longer to sell. So it's probably going to be a minute before it's finished. Uh, so don't expect like another episode in like fucking two weeks or whatever. Uh, essentially, it's going to take a little while. So yeah, that's all. Bye.